Um, what's up, Dumelang? How are you doing? We're good. So please go check out the previous part to gauge your bearings. Now, I'm busy telling a story, Lana. I was talking about this cousin of mine and uh, how, how she got initiated into the occult and how it is that she lambasted one of her best friends from high school. I knew that best friend of hers. Remember, she was my best cousin, so every so often I became friends with her friends. Um, but I wasn't that, that tight with this girl. However, we were just like on good terms, speaking terms, greeting terms, right? Um, we were even like friends on Facebook type setup thing. This friend, ne, Hona in my person persecution in this persecution of mine value two they had a very horrible friendship well, i did make i did explain in the previous part to this that friendship i was one of those they you know these unhealthy relationships like double girl where a man you know mm, it was a friendship like that just a very toxic relationship the two of them had uh but they kept each other in each other's space i guess that's just the very nature of masochists they keep each other in a bunch um value two it was a two-way war foo, 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 like you know galaxy wars uh, in the cosmos they were busy shooting each other with witchcraft and it god showed me that the involvement in the darkness that my particular cousin is in was so extreme against her life against this friend of hers that she wanted to commit suicide and this girl wanted to kill herself despite having a, a young daughter that she was taking care of essentially as a single mom and god woke me up like I, I, I'm, I'm, I was persecuted already. You know how my family have moved me from pillar to post, treated me like trash. I was living by myself. I had my own things to deal with. Do you understand? I had my own spiritual battle to fight. Do you understand? I had my own thing. To pray and stand in the gap. Do you understand? Uh, sorry, guys. Mm, just wanted to clean the camera then because I think I spat on it <laughs> anyway whatever sorry <laughs> anyway yeah God woke me up in the middle of the night uh, oh, oh, I stand in the gap for D Tigan for this chick for like like I, I had just come out of a dream where this chick was not Lisirasi she was seriously in contemplation of suicide to a point where she was trying to apportion her estate and finances to make sure one has a lot of a somewhat right day until further notice also knowing that that one will be able to take care of one um as life progresses only see ras she was in deep in this dream on a duty and mind you this chick now in the dream uh this friend of hers in the dream she was wearing white robes white robes she's not born again she wasn't born again then to this day she's not entirely saved matter every time i see her in my dreams or a very bright robes God was showing me the day's gonna come when she's convicted of sin and she's gonna repent and turn around to me. So until such time that she eventually gives her life over to me, you have like she needs that you must you right now are the saint that is aware of her and you understand the thing that, that your cousin is into. I want you to stand in the gap. God made me pray. God made me tapelo over Cherry Krishapo that was so distant to me that I wouldn't even just think about her coming at the top of my mind. And I was like, Yeah, so we were friends on Facebook book but that's only because you know by association you are linked to my cousin type thing god make me stand in the gap remember i, I, I didn't let you guys know that uh I, there was a time it was there was a time in my life when i was like fasted like literally every day i was doing a 66 fast so my whole life was entirely fasted and i was i, I, I pray in tongues as i walk around uh, all day long so i'm very very prayerful god made me in that fasted and prayerful state to dedicate that girl that woman and that friend Ega my cousin to uh to prayer to come to cover her to consecrate her this chick megafuna uguzi bulala she wanted to die the way that there was such a strong like pulling or a curse on her that came from my cousin that, that that's why i get it these people when they fail in one part they go to another and another and another and another i don't know if what she did to that girl was a death curse or if she just messed her life up so much that she ended up hitting brick walls the two of them are both you know in the occult and i don't know how the other girl got into it right essentially like i said they've got an intergalactic war the two of them they like with witchcraft um and god cared enough for this other cheeky to get me standing in the gap for her right so that's just the the the, the nature of this rotten female uh like after you find out that witchcraft works the first time because you got a job through it they then 
go into other deeper, darker, more nefarious places. Start jealousy. Like, on a limona over your best friend. On a limona over your best cousin. On a limona over um, this other girlfriend they are called. You have got a bone to pick an ex-boyfriend. You you want to handle like ex Lea for ex Shang and Bama. Like, it starts becoming just uh, like criminal activity in the in the spirit realm. They start to become spirit avengers. Spirit criminals. Where they affect revenge where they felt done hard against in the past and also the effect correction against their feelings of jealousy over friends family members etc so this girl started going on a rampage against just about anybody and everybody but especially me wangi tageta and the thing that she got into she realized that she got a, a one particular job through this darkness but she was not satisfied this chick was so competitive with me that she wanted to exceed me mind you i had skyrocketed by then in my career way beyond anything that she could ever catch up with and secondly i was an academic so this chick went while your target and my ish guys yes ish man guys yes and the things that this cousin did to me yes wow whoa god have mercy she targeted my degree so um last night i had a series of dreams last night got this chick ne? but god uh re-brought back another dream to the surface that i had long ago um eh, goodness I, i'm giving you context so i so i should explain to you the dreams that i got last night and how far gone this chick now is right mara mabani god reminded me of of a dream god wanted me to speak about her that that's why he kept on he kept on reminding me of the old stuff that she did and also the most recent thing that she did because i'm to asaripente after christ gives them a warning and a warning and a warning the lord then is like mukipe munse like expose the tilondri yachache in tabunga eo in tabunga eo so that's why bunga dingi it's one no because nikki like i like this cheeky has like the this witchcraft is fresh and i'm currently battling demons of suicide because of what she has done she's trying to kill me it's the second time she's trying but i'm going to give you an understanding as to what the second batch of like this time around what how god showed her human sacrifice ritual remember i told you about the first human sacrifice ritual that failed where she was she was trying to stab me well i will I, i've also given you an understanding about the most recent one with that uh tricycle I, i'm gonna interpret that dream but first i want to tell you about a dream that i had when i was still employed um that god reminded me of last night extra details about the activity a occultic yeah this chick that you might understand sometimes in your lives listen baby motu I do this next to you, Kim, 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 Bestie, Kim, Guy, Nigga, Cousin, and you would never ever imagine that they would ever be into this kind of stuff, but they're doing this to you. So, uh, I, I used to be a student at Vits, right? That's where I was getting my degree. Uh, I was a Vits Plus student in particular in the sense that I was part-time because I was working and also studying. Now, if you have been to campus Yako Vits, you will know that Vits Plus is on we uh, East West Campus, just like next door to the New Commerce Building. And it's opposite the parking lot early that's headed towards like the um the bridge, the yeah, etc. There were these okay, next part uh, to explain this dream to you.